Hi there. We're going to do some experimenting with some watercolor today and do some pretty flowers. All right, let's get started. So we're going to try doing some regular watercolor without any water on the thing first on the on the watercolor paper. So I'm just going to do some dots. Each of my flowers is going to be a circle. And you can experiment with whatever kind of watercolors you like. So my paper is dry at this point, and I'm just doing some dots with fairly heavy pigment. And now I'm going to take my water and just blend some of that and see what happens. And I'm happy with that. There's my first flower. Let's try putting water down first. You can't see the water, but I'm putting water in a circle and I'm going to drop on some colors. And there's some experimenting with wet on wet. In a circle. You can use whatever colors you like. So it's wet, but now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop color on top of that. Maybe I'll try some purple. It makes kind of a neat design. Let's try another wet on wet. I'm going to put a wet circle here. And this time, I'm going to take my color. I'm going to draw in some lines. So it's wet on wet, but I'm drawing on the wet on wet. And I'm going to do another color as well. And there's another technique. There, I've had a bit of fun experimenting with my watercolors. Now what I'd like to do is I want to put some greenery in the background. Stems and leaves with a Sharpie. and paint in the leaves with watercolor. As you can see, I did a lot more flowers on my original one. So have a lot of fun with this experiment. Make sure that you dry your flowers and your background leaves before you put your Sharpie on. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.